The third round of the prestigious Northeast Amateur was one for the books. Some struggled, like top-ranked Cole Hammer at 1.5 over, but he battled back to shoot even for the day. The story, 17-year-old Australian Carl Phillips goes to school in Tampa. Through the first nine holes, I was just trying to kind of stick shots close, make a few putts, and you know, I dropped a few bombs, so I turned in four. He had a four under 30 on the front. And when he got cooking on the back, birdies on 13 and 15 after the sweet approach to the par three. Everything kind of just was feeling feeling good, like putting, all my lines, felt like I was hitting everything on line, great speed. And then more magic on the 16th. I was just in front, you know, my chipping's been great this week and I put it right on my spot, it rolled in perfect speed. On the 17th, another birdie to get him to eight under. I was coming in the last hole and I was like, I asked my caddy Steven, I was like, how many under par am I? He's like, eight, I was like, wow. A birdie on 18 would give him the standalone course record. I came off the green and the, uh, the guy off the green said that if I made that, it would, would have been the solo course record. So I kind of lagged it up there, but if I knew that was rally, I probably would have rammed it about two or three feet by. So have to sell for the 61. Phillips eight under for the day and six under after three rounds. I think the afternoon score was pretty low. I'm just trying to get hopefully in a good position to make something happen tomorrow. His playing partner, Reese McFarlane, chips in on 18. How about Kato Onishi? A bomb on 18 for the birdie. Local Bobby Leopold with a drive on five that ended up next to the eighth green, but he hit the green from there and would end up making par. There was a half hour rain delay that softened the course further. John pocked the birdie on nine after the delay to get to six under at the turn. Then Scott Stevens with a nice par save on the ninth to stay at five under at the turn. And then first and second round leader Garrett May from Baylor, a birdie on the ninth to go nine under. May with the birdie on the ninth to take a three shot lead midway through his round. Three over Pock, three over Phillips, but a, a lot of golf to be played on the back nine. And Saturday, well, we're expected to have sun, but could have a lot of wind. For a complete look at all your scores, make sure you visit northeastamateur.com. I'm Don Coyne reporting.